The second topic for the session will see how do you compute cost of capital. Now we are clear with what is cost of capital, the minimum required of rate, it, rate of return expected by an investor. Okay, when I want money, you see there are various sources of finance. You can get money through equity shares, preference shares, debentures, loans from financial institution or retained earnings. Whatever sources you tap in the market, you should see that people give you money. right? And when will these five people give you money if you give them a minimum return? right? Now, so the two steps involved under cost of capital. First, I find out the individual source cost as such. Find out cost of equity cost of debenture, preference, loan holders and retained earnings. Find an individual sources cost as such. So measurement of specific cost. Now if you add up these five sources together, what will you get? The final cost of capital for a company. Second step involves this measurement of overall cost of capital. For example, if I say my company requires 10 crore. Now 10 crore we saw, okay, let's diversify. We should not just stick to one source of finance because we should also reduce our risk. Okay, we thought out of this money which you require 10 crore, 2 crore let us raise through preference shares. Let us raise 3 crore through debentures. Let us raise the remaining money through equity shares. Now, whatever sources I am thinking of, these people will only give me money now. How am I am targeting at 2 crore, 3 crore when I give them a minimum return. Right. Now, first of all, what step you involve? Find out the individual sources cost as such. Then, if you add up at the end, what will you get? The final cost of capital. Okay, for example, if I say, if I want 2 crore to be raised to preference shares, how much return should I give to a preference shareholder? How will you find out? Through cost of preference share. Right. Now, if I say at the end, if I need full 10 crore, 10 crore is subdivided into various sources, how much is the overall return I should give to all the people concerned? How will you do? Then you have to find out the total cost of capital. So we'll be studying this module in two parts. First we're seeing is finding out the individual source cost as such. Cost of preference, cost of equity, cost of debenture, cost of retained earnings. Second step we'll see how do you add up and find out the final cost of capital. So, how do you measure cost of capital? The various sources of finance, so we measure cost of capital with cost of equity, cost of debenture, cost of preference share and cost of retained earnings.